ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I was like, after this game, which is called Their Land, uh, I think I have like five spooky games on Steam, at least. On Steam. I still have spooky games on Epic, spooky games on GOG, spooky games on Xbox PC Store Pass thing. But on Steam, at least, yeah, we went through my like entire 200 plus library. It only took like two years, but we did it. And of course, you know, we did Outlast last month, which. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, please read before playing. They are solo dev and they were developing this indie title the last two years. Some videos are telling this is a survival game, but it's not. Please don't give a negative review because of wrong expectations. Their land features a single player and wave based co op multiplayer mode. Any different description spreaded is not and was never true. I hope you enjoy this free game. You're welcome to join the Discord for more information. That's right. There's some controversy about this game because, like, somebody, like, put it on TikTok and said it was, like, this type of game. And then everybody came in. They're like, it's not this game. And they, like, left a bunch of bad reviews. And it's like, calm down. Oh. Yes, continue. I accept. It's fine. Let's see. Play with cro- With, please. I am not that quick and accurate. Do I need a controller? Do I need a controller? Resolution, view distance. It's, it's decent, yeah. Any subtitles I gotta worry about? No? All right. Off I go. 35 years after the incident, the survivor Jeremy finally reveals his heartbreaking story. Oh, what happened, Jeremy? Oh, wow. When I saw him in his condition, I knew that he was not able to escape on his own. It was cold, dark, deafening, and we were both soaked from the rain. Freckles. Although I couldn't think clearly either. He was clearly in worse shape and hung upside down on a rope much longer than I did. He was covered with flesh wounds, smeared with blood. His pain must be enormous. Bro, for a solo dev, that looks amazing. Freckles? The texture of the hair? Alright, so 35 years ago, something happened. Ooh, look at my forearms. Nice. Am I being sacrificed? What's happening here? Yeah, I think I'm getting sacrificed. That's blood. Is it my blood or someone else's? Am I the second one up? Ethan. I've got to hold on. I will save you. Get us out of here. I am Ethan now. I I can't feel my legs. Also, quick uh, side note, apparently another game that I've been following just released now. And it's free, so I'm like What does he have? He's got a gun and he's got a, a torch? Stick? A cross? What is that? Weapon? We have to run! Oh, it's a lever. Jeremy. I'm slower than you. You'll keep going while I distract them. I'll be fine. I'm running.
Ooh, it's fine. Ooh, it's fine. I'm expecting one of these spears to just get me in the leg. Where? Oh, never mind. It went through the chest. Let's see, the windows are gone. Yeah, no, there's so many games coming out. The experience was painful and unimaginable cruel. I think he already suspected it. And still, he preserved and made sure that nothing happened to me. He was the reason I'm still alive. I cannot thank him enough, even if I would have liked to tell him personally. He didn't have to die. At least not like that. Alone in the rain. In the dark. Well, here he is! I messed However, up. It all started much earlier. Our group was supposed to explore a previously untrodden island. Look out for raw materials, resources, and possible colonization opportunities. Vince? We were, so to speak, the pioneers who were supposed to bring the secret treasures of these islands to light. But right from the start, nothing went as planned. Vince? My name is Jeremy. And that's how it all started. Why did I just see a little Steam notification say you got a gift from Vince? What did you do? What did you do? Don't throw your cute face with your little witch hat on my stream. What did you do? What did you buy? Can I check on my phone what it is? Phone! Phone, will you let me see the things? <gasps> My phone will. Thank you, Steam app. What is it? Pending gifts. Of course. It's Chillo's art. The closing shift. They make great games. Don't get me wrong. But I work the night shift. <laughs> Why? <What>? Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Vince. Thank you for the opals and for the gift. I imagine because it's a chilla art, it's probably not like a giant sized game. So I'm like, depending on how long this game is, because I know this is like maybe an hour or two game. It's, it's longer than the previous games we've been doing. <gasps> 1927? What? How far back did we go? What's happening? What? It's not another game, is it? That's a delayed notification, yeah? You didn't buy a second game, did you? Vince! I can only look. Ooh, I like the textures though. Jeremy, you're with me. No matter what. Take care. No one has ever set foot on that island. I know. I'll do my best. Hold on. 1927 plus 35 years. That's what? 50. Two? So it's 1962 when this interview is taking place? Okay, the camera might make sense. What is plan B? Guys, listen up. The boats of Henry, John, and Christian. Vince! What is happening? 
we explore the island any further, we need to Assuming it's a delayed reaction. They can't be far. Follow me. Because I'm like, there's no way you just got hey, a third game. Why can't I have a gun? Yeah, why don't I have a gun? Well, again, Jeremy, because you're too young. Anyway, what? Okay, I was like, please pause so I can properly yell at Vince. Maybe. Six times go wrong. I'm just going to say this. If you're going to buy more than one game, think about the taxes. Because remember, each time you buy a game by itself, you got to pay taxes on it. If you buy all the games together, it's the same amount of tax. Now, let me reopen my Steam account. Because somebody is being a butt and sending me stuff. What else did you send? What else did you send? Where's my Steam? Steamy Steam! Received a gift. You received a gift. What's happening? What? <gasps> Paranormal VHS is a horror game that features VHS tape inspired aesthetic. The game story revolves around a popular vlogger who spends a night in the haunted locations in search of paranormal activity. Brace for intense jump scares. Why? It sounds amazing, but why? Also, what? What's a uh, that one guy that we met at TwitchCon last year? For like a hot second frenzies who's now an ambassador and he does like spooky haunted house streams is that what's happening because that seems like the vibe welcome to kowloon this is an indie horror from the first person in which you find yourself in an area called kowloon in search of cheap housing oh god i am looking for cheap housing the inhabitants of this place only at first glance seem to be ordinary people but if we dig deeper we will see their real faces what's that I don't know about any of these. I'm gonna put them on. Maybe I did. Where'd you find them? Did you find them? Or were they on my wish list already? My list is so long I forget what I put on there. It's got traction on YouTube. Oh, I bet it does. Day tune. Yeah, that's his name. That's their name. Ah, spooky games, spooky games. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I get most of my games from the suggestions on Steam, and now with doing IGDB, I mainly get it from there, where I'm like, oh, this game just released oh, today! Put it on the wish list, or it's like, oh, it's free! That's how I get my games now. Alright. Follow Jacob. Oh. Interesting texture choice for the backpack. I guess it's like a mud look. That's 1927. Run faster with shift. I don't want to run too fast. I don't know where I'm going. What's with my little icon down there in the bottom right? No, no. IGDB. You know, like how there's IMDB, which is like, you know, internet movie database. IGDB, which is owned by Twitch. Uh, they're the ones who, like, link up way. all the games and stuff. You know, like how you select a game and there's a picture for the category? That's them. That's what they do. They fill out the information, they put the photos up, and they've actually just now released it, where if you're on the Twitch categories, like let's say you type in uh, Call of Duty or whatever, you'll see it says, visit IGDB, and if you click that, it'll take you to the website, which will then will show all the social media links and all the other store sites you could get that game. So it's like itch, G-O-C, G-O-G, um, I think... Epic is on there, I think. Is Humble on there? Oh, and of course, the app stores for phones and Androids. So, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I, I I recently became a keeper with them, so I was just like, oh. they were like, yeah, we saw you've been doing so much, Nina. We That they had a meeting about me, and they're like, we invite you. And I was like, ah! So, mm. Stuff happened. All right. Find a way off the coast. Spawn around. Can I jump? <gasps> I can jump. Plus, they have like countdowns and stuff. And they made an announcement for it. Oh, I think they did. But just in case they didn't, I'll I keep my mouth shut. But it's like it's cool. It's like super linked. And you know, if you want to like find. Places where you can get other games from the developers that you enjoy, they're there. Essentially, yeah, it's gonna be the video game version of IMDb. Hey guys! 
I think I found a way. Oh, oh, I was kidding. Oh, sweet. I was just going up to get over a different rock, but this works. Oh, it's a cave. Oh, I can't see. Hello? <gasps> Look at my little team. Let's go. But thank you for the games, fiends. A cave. Jeremy, take my lighter and light the way. Maybe this is the way forward. Where's your lighter? <laughs> Press L. Ooh, well, L's way over there. God. I have a stick. Oh, don't run, Nina. <laughs> There's physics. Ran so fast, my lighter went out. No. Whoa. Oh, it's a thought it was green singing. Oh! I have a knife! You will earn this achievement after killing your first wolf. Sadly, that's something. Hello? People, help me! Help me! Gee, were they aggressive? Look at them wiggle. Come on, Jeremy. Why are they two different sizes? You're like fuzzier than him. Okay. I just saw the little knife icon. And I was like, oh, did I find a knife in the cave? No. Wolves are coming. All right, I noticed it said chapter and selection. So I'm like, okay. I can see how this is like multiplayer, play with friends, run through the jungle, kill things, explore. And there I, Brian. With the little hat. Oh, Pulling out your gun for some reason. We in danger, Brian. That's a deep canyon. I'm sure we can cross it somehow. Any ideas? Find a tool to cross the canyon. Um, we got a bunch of vines here. Find a tool to cross the canyon. Blank? Something. Great idea, Jeremy. I hope the plank's gonna carry us. <laughs> yeah, like it's not the thickest plank, but it'll do. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're gonna be fine. Actually, wait. If he told the end at the beginning, does that mean he's the only sole survivor? Oh, so we're gonna lose everybody. Ooh. Maybe, maybe After they. After a maybe. short break, we split up. Ethan, Jacob, and Jeremy, you'll search for the others in the west. We're searching in the east. Let's meet exactly back here before sunset. Understood? Sorry. Did I Naruto run? Okay, little. A little bit of a Naruto run. Oh, they sent me a photo. Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. It's a photo of me from eight years ago. Uh, the cringe. The cringe, I say. It's when I did I have my snake bite still? Yep, I had my snake bites, I had my glasses, I had my anime hair. Ah, good times. Find the lost boats. Alright. Hey, Ethan. How's your pocket watch doing? The best gift you can make a friend. Thanks again, Jacob. Wait, he made a pocket watch? Awesome. Oh, 
Yeah, the straight path, right? Do you right? see that down there in the water? Well, that stone does not look natural. I don't think humans have ever been here. The island was on his cupboard until last stone week. Stone cube. Am I in the way? I'm in the way. Uh, where can I go to hide so you can read? Let me just move out of the way. I'm just gonna. <gasps> Too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's so dumb, but I like it. I like being silly. Sue me. Actually, don't. I would do horrible in the court system. I would try to be like a smart aleck because they'd be like, Are you ready to be judged by a jury of your peers? And I'd be like, Can they be my peers? Do they know my life? No, then they're not my peers. But there, I'm out of the way. All right, an almost perfect shaped stone lies somewhere in the jungle. Its cube-like appearance is reminiscent of a brick. Right next to it would be a second one, almost completely covered in mud. Must be a coincidence. Is or was there civilization here? Maybe people really lived here. This potential brick could be proof of that. Ethan thinks there have never been humans here. So far, it doesn't look like it either. The stone has something special about it. Are there more of these? My legs are already starting to hurt, and I would be very happy to take a break soon. However, there's a lot of to discover and time is of the essence. Only now have I found out that Ethan has a watch, and even given by Jacob. I wish I had a watch like that. At least we won't be late when we meet Brian again. The pain drags on. Anyway, I won't whine and prove my strength. I won't whine and prove my strength, Ethan and Jacob. Even though I'm only 19 old. 19 years old, I can still fight like a grown man. You're good, bro. Where am I going, guys? Oh. These look man-made. Jeremy, look around. See if there's any more of these. Okay. Ethan! Ethan! I think this here will change your mind. Those could be the remains of an ancient civilization. Where's my boy at? Those high statues. Incredible. And, and, and the walls. <laughs> Those could be hundreds of years old. Fascinating. Yeah, but we do not have time for that right now. We have to find the others. Okay. The audio thing where it's like you have to be next to them to hear them. I'm thankful for the subtitles, but it's like... Out of here. <gasps> Attack with uh, Jeremy. It's Wolves. Get your knife out. What? Where? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sir, I was looking at the the, the, the the physics of the wolf falling. <laughs> Thank you. Really, I can't stab. Well done. Can you the search for the boats. Um, oh, hello. Gray bowl. A handmade clay bowl with rather low walls. It's coated in a sheen of finding artifacts, which apparently those are achievements. With rather low walls, it is coated in a sheen of black color that seems to crumble away in some places. While neither the most beautiful nor most well-made, it seems to do its job. Of all the things to think about when finding signs of intelligent life on a previously uncivilized island, Jeremy's grandma didn't seem to be the most productive choice in hindsight. What? Yet still, as he turned and twisted the bowl in his hands, he could almost hear her voice again, explaining to his five-year-old self how to craft a bowl on his own. It's all about making sausages and stacking them on top of each other. Without leaving any room for air in between, is how she would always put it. He could still see the massive amounts of different colored bowls, cups, pots, and plates that she had made and stored at her place. 
The slightly earthy smell that seemed to linger in the house, coupled with all the other bits and pieces that she collected over the span of her life, always gave Jeremy a feeling of home. Nowadays, it just evoked regret for taking the time he had with her for granted. For not dropping by one more time, for brushing off invitations for coffee and cake like he had better things to do. Sometimes, one has to learn the hard way that humans tend to only value things when they lose them. The sound of his name ringing out brought Jeremy back to reality. Back to reality. Okay. Ah! The game closed itself? Crashed? Hello? I'm gonna hit play. Come, come back. Come, come hither. Pretty sure I hit back to game, but maybe I... Maybe my mouse did something. My bad. I was, I was reading the story. I was reading the lore. Oh! Okay, we're good. Hopefully. Biggest performance issues got fixed. Since the game got very bad reviews because of performance issues, I would love you to leave a Steam review about the new experience. What? Off we go. Back. Ooh, where did it save last? Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. I don't even know where I am. Find the lost boats with Jacob and Ethan. Okay. I'm... We've left the temple? I think. Hey, Ethan. How's your pocket watch doing? We're back here. Okay. You can make a friend. Got it. Thanks again, Jacob. Not too far back. That's fine. I'm like, oh my god. Back to game. And they're like, oh my god. What's that in the water? Ethan. Ethan. I like the... Who is it, a gazelle? A deer that just disappeared into this wall? Okay, back to game. Just get that out of the way. All right, now from here, where do we go? Oh, oh, <sighs> like something there. Fascinating. Yeah. We have to find the others. You're right. I hope they're fine. Hmm. Anyway. Where are the moon moons at? <sighs> East. I'm ready. Great tussle. Uh, Jeremy, it's wolves. Get your knife out. <sighs> Help. Help. Sorry. What happened to his jaw? What happened to his jaw? You're looking at it later, Nina. You're dying. I've been murdered. The wolves got me. Question before I reset my death. All right, so we died eight times and swallowed the sea. Don't judge me. This is already open. Don't judge me. Swallow the sea. What a great name for a game. Well, might have just been me who saw it then, but I saw that wolf's jaw just go uh, like a snake. I think this year will change your mind. I'll wait for the wolves to show up. Find the exit. It's a bush, a collision wall. Incredible. By the way, this looks great. And, and the walls. Those could be hundreds of years old. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no. Just a wall. <gasps> right. I hope they're fine. It's got to be this, right? This little little thing here. That's what I'm. All right, guys. Summon the wolves. Uh, 
Jeremy. It's Wolves. Get your life out. Get him. Jesus uh, uh, Christ, baby. Uh, uh, Take this. Take that. Uh, He's so little. Well, of them? well done. Right. Now let's get out of here. You're looking this way. Hmm. See? It's a nice little. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's try our theory. Yeah, punch it. Hey guys, I think I found a way. Hmm. Hmm. Saw a human running. We're not in danger at all. I do like this. Like, this looks really well made. For two years of work, it's good. Like, I I have my textures on a low setting right now, so don't be like, oh, it doesn't look that great. It's like, yeah, that's me. I, I put it low. But, like, jungle rendering's good for distance. Hello? What is this? That, that is a bridge. Ooh, look at the water. Oh, bro, F this bridge. Can I not cross? The way the that thing looks, it could be like a hundred years old, and I am not going to cross it. And neither are you, Jeremy. Jeremy is the lightest one of us. It would make sense to let him go first, and we don't have another option. If something happens to you, Jeremy, but I think you're right, Ethan. Jeremy, take care and do not look down. Then we should try it. Ooh. Get yourself Ooh. together, Jeremy. Just a small wooden bridge. Everything's fine. Hey, it's moving! Hello? Oh god, do I have to jump? Oh no, this is an awkward walk-off! Oh, there's a body down there. That's great. Ooh, look at the textures on the rocks. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm dead. Well, obviously not, but like... <laughs> a part of me died that day on the island. No way. You you fell like head first. You should have just like like your own little like red mask right now. Oh, there they are. Find a way down there. Don't go anywhere. I mean, it's what you tell me. But who knows what's gonna happen to me? Circle back to where I came. Maybe I just wait? Hello? I don't have jumping, I have... Like, Naruto teleporting. Do I go into the water? 
The answer is no. <laughs> I'll take it. And I'll take it. Okay. Where do I go from there? All right, am I gonna have the little chit chat again? Jeremy, everything all right? Uh, stay put. We're gonna find a way down there. Don't Zoomed in. We have to zoom in on other stuff. The so water is bad. Don't have a jump. Maybe I really do just have to sit tight and wait. Hold on. Did I just die again? Hello? I have slipped into a cave! Well, this seems bad. They told you not to go anywhere. Find a way out. <gasps> wow. It's a tree. What kind of place is this? What kind of creep? No, oh, it's pretty. Pretty tree. It's nice. I like it. Shadow just That's a dead end. Okay. Spider? Spider Man? Spider Man here? Okay, well, if it's a dead end, where do you want me to go? Because water is bad. I know this is okay because it connects to this, but this doesn't go anywhere. Oh, that guy looks like a skull. Hello? Random, but I'll take it. Ooh, it's. something. I guess there's a cave. Wait. Am I supposed to go into the water? Ah! Thank you, game. <sighs> Spider-Man! Oh. Sealable bottle. A bottle fashioned from a dried gourd with a wooden plug <laughs> at the top and a cord made from woven vines to make it portable. Its length measures about as long as a forearm with all that small nicks and discolorations, it seems well-worn and used. Twisting off the plug of the bottle rewarded Jeremy with nothing but the nauseating smell of stale water and rotten matter. All he could do for a few seconds was not throw up then and there, in this damp, cold, and dark underground cave. As the retching slowly subsided, the young man began to severely doubt his decision to use his discovery for anything but clobbering someone else over the head. But what is it that they always say? Beggars can't be choosers. And so... He took a big gulp of air and then proceeded to dump the foul contents of the bottle into the water in front of him. Even in the low light environment, he could see small chunks and strings of what must, what once must have been something fall into the water. It took all of the young man's efforts to not fly into a dry heaving fit again. With the emptying process done, the next step was clear. Go to the other side of the platform Jeremy was standing on and use the water over there to wash out the bottle. In the end, while it felt like hours to the explorer, it couldn't have taken more than 10 minutes to clean the water container to a point where he was ready to tentatively take a sip out of it. Looking at the bottle in his hands with a disbelieving glance, Jeremy fastened it to his belt. 
the taste of stale water still on his tongue and his resolve renewed as he went to search the way out. All right, back to the game. Might just been a weird flu. Oh, there's fire. That's... Fire means people. No. What? What? Ah! Hello? 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 <gasps> Hello? Be gone! First giant centipede defeated. First! That means there's more. Okay. Got big ass centipede. Alright. I'm assuming it's a puzzle. I see a triangle. And These shapes. Are interesting symbols. Do the triangle but one. What do they mean? <gasps> Choo! Chauhima just resubscribed for 29 months. T-V-I-T-C-H-C-U-N soon. <laughs> Poor thing couldn't figure out what you spelled, so it spelt it. But yes, TwitchCon soon. Thank you for the resub, Choo. You excited? I'm trying to let go of the thing. How do I let go? Much. F E Q. Right click. Left click. Get me out. Space. All right, one more. This is. I'll admit, this is a bit awkward. I can't see. Space. Okay, there. We got triangle. No other triangles. It's okay, we will take lots of pictures of all of us being silly. There we got. Oh, symbol. What's up, man? Right, who's got paws? You got paws? I guess two. Oh, it's like directly behind me. A little more. Okay. Need one more symbol. Honestly, I don't. I could just swivel. Maybe I'll catch it. Nice. The gate opens. I don't even know where that symbol is, but huzzah! I found two. Process of elimination. What are you doing today, Chu? Is this? In danger again? Is it another centipede? How do I get over there? We're gonna go the other way. <gasps> Speederman. Nothing. Something's gonna jump out at me. Fuck! Child it. Ah! Get centipede! Die! Die! Stab it! He's stuck in the wall! Stab him! He's dead in the wall. And I'm gone. I'm doing good, Chew. I had the works. I had only five Steam games left, and then Vince was like. I was like. So now we have some more spooky games. Back the way we came. And I am trying to mentally prepare for the rest of this month. Because it's pretty much Dog Sitting Gig, ACFI, TwitchCon, and then I'm flying back home for like a week. It's just a lot of travel. It's so much travel. I'm just like, oh boy. Nope. Bye. But I am excited. I hope class is treating you well. We need to get off this island, off this horrible place. I've seen terrible things. 
A few of us have been... What is this? Oh my god! No! Oh! Shit. I think that was a centipede. Leave the cave. Uh, yeah, I'm gone. I think Henry got eaten by a centipede. Ooh, what a way to go. We have to get off this island. Leave the island ASAP. Got it. Best way to get out of here. What the hell is that? I don't know. Bleed through the buildings? Ah! Uh! Ah! Uh! Uh! I understand the Spider Man symbol now. I understand the Spider Man symbol now. No, 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 no. I found a vase in the middle of this chaos. <laughs> what was once a beautiful piece of pottery now lies in shards, caked in mud and dust. Judging from its size and the way it was formed, it seems that this vase was once used as a way to either store food or liquids. By taking a closer look, one is able to discern painted scenes of human figures dancing around a great bonfire in celebration. Wow, that is a lot of story. Back pressed against the cold stone wall, Jeremy struggled to control his labored breathing, all in an effort to keep his position hidden from the stalking predators outside his hiding place. Over the sound of rushing blood, a quiet but rather close rustling of leaves reached his ears, leading to him holding his breath in fright. As the distinct sound of sniffing emanated from his right side, he could hear the laughter of other children from his hideout up in the tree. What? They were playing a rather intense game of hide and seek, and at this point it came down to the last two children that still had to be found, Jeremy and his rival John. Adrenaline rushed through his veins as one of the seekers passed below Jeremy and just as the boy in question was about to run off to somewhere else. He turned his head and sniffing and the sniffing and sounds of rustling slowly began to come closer. Jeremy, why were the kids sniffing for you? Were they just like, like trying to be like, you know, like kids being silly to scare you or was he like, I can smell you? Oddly calm, Jeremy looked around himself to scan the inside of the room he was hiding in, finding nothing but waste, leaves, and one old linen curtain on the ground. With certain death slowly closing in, the man decided to take a gamble. Quietly, he took off his shirt, balled it up, and threw it to the other side of the room where it softly landed on what was once a table. With the quiet sound came a timer. As the predator outside had heard the ever-so-faint noise and were coming closer at a rapid pace, committed to his plan, whether he wanted to or not, Jeremy laid himself flat on the ground and covered himself with the rough linen in hopes of staying hidden. With his fate now in the hands of God, Jeremy heard the soft steps of something enter the room, sniffing now closer than ever. Okay, I get what they're saying. But at the same time, I don't? Forcing himself into complete stillness, his breath shallow and soft, Jeremy quickly took two steps towards the tree trunk, jumping up swiftly onto a higher branch, just as the boy at the bottom would have caught him. Still, the rustling and shaking of the tree made the searcher suspicious. However, perched on his branch, Jeremy sat out of view, feeling like a predator ready to pounce on unsuspecting prey. For just a second, he played with his exact thought. How would it be to just fall down on top of the unsuspecting child, only to push these thoughts away in favor of winning the game of hide and seek? A shot from the other side of the playground yanked Jeremy out of his musings as the sniffing and no growling noises proceeded to come ever closer to Jeremy. Okay, so he's remembering the past and whatever's happening right now, because I'm like, I don't think we're playing hide and seek with these monsters. Hidden away in his hideout, the young man was holding his breath, forcing his heart to beat as slow as humanly possible. Seconds that felt like minutes drew by as the soft footfalls drew nearer yet again. A bead of sweat ran down Jeremy's forehead as the sniffing suddenly resounded from the other side of the thin barrier of linen between prey and predator. Time slowed down to a crawl as the bead of sweat hit Jeremy's left eye, the burning sensation of salt on his eyeball, almost making him move and reveal his position his vision slowly getting blurry due to oxygen deprivation. Jeremy whooped his head around to see John being escorted out of a wooden fort by the Seekers, thus making Jeremy the official winner of this round of Hide and Seek. Okay, it's two things happening at once. I'm reading! Leave me alone, monsters! 
A malicious light shone in his eyes as he took a step forward and with one with a small leap landed right behind the boy that still stood at the edge of the tree's crown. Shouting loudly just as he landed, Jeremy managed to scare the other child senseless. With a triumphant glint in his gaze, Jeremy jogged towards the other children, fully intent on lording his victory over them, leaving the still quivering boy behind. Okay, so there's still more! Oh god. As his break as his breaking point drew near, Jeremy could hear a loud rustling and the cry of a startled bird from the outside. Something that seemed to take the predator's focus away from the man's hiding place. With one last growl, the beast quickly and quietly made its way out of the ruin. Slowly, Jeremy counted to 20 in his head, his lungs burning with the need for oxygen, before he gave in to his urges and took a huge gulp of air. Still, as he laid there on the ground, adrenaline rushing through his veins, trying to get his breathing under control, a wild smile wormed itself onto his face, his eyes flashing with manic excitement. So much reading! What is this, a Persona game? <laughs> I guess they're trying to, like, you know, give us backstory to Jeremy and what's going on, but I'm just like, alright. I was hella confused! Because I was like, what? I was like, I'm not playing hide and seek with the monsters. Okay, so I need to find a lever for that, which means it's in one of these houses. I think I see it right there. I think. Alright, go! Ah! I thought I'm safe in here! Am I not safe in here? I'm in danger! <laughs> Hi! You're an interesting monster! So you're not the pole that I'm looking for. Alright. I was a lever. Normally, I would still be in my socket, but... Ooh! For whatever reason, he's not. Okay. Can I... Can I kill them? Like, is that a thing? Can I come out and like, yeah, stab him? They do seem pretty tough, though. Can I stab you? Come here. Lever, 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 lever. Eee! Let me see if I can stab you. Come here. Alright, we have to go way back to the beginning of the little houses, I'm guessing. Can I? Ooh. I can. Maybe I can kill them. It'd probably be a really long fight, though, to be honest. That's a house. I think that's a house over there. Right, there's a house. Yeah! Where is this lever? Hmm. I think that's where it is. I think the game's showing me where to go. Yeah! Or it's just showing me where I need to put it? No. They're just showing me the general, which way I gotta go. I'm working on it, game! I'm working on it. Oh, very scary. Go zoom! This house. And this up. the houses, no? We came from there and then RAR happened. Well, if we die, we die. Right, this is where we came from. I know. Right, and they're like, run out of the jungle! I think I have to kill them. Ooh. It was like, what, three hits maybe? Yeah. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Oh, he ate me in one bite. So maybe I don't kill him. We have to get off this island. So what if I don't go that way? Yeah, dead end. Here. More dead end. Okay, so where is it then? Flee through the buildings. Yeah, I'm fleeing through the buildings. Rawr. Oh, he ate my ass fast. Shit. We have to get off this island. Kind of funny. It's always like on the first try, I always seems to be like the best friend. But then it's like once you know what to expect, it's like, ah, oh, no. Leave through the buildings. I fled. I have a knife. Which is why I think you want me to kill them. But. One out and gone. And let me in, let me in! There's our base. Hello, base. Okay. This looks like a gate. But. How can I open it? I feel like I... <gasps> Are those stairs? Oh, fudge. There's a second floor. There's a second floor! Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, turn this off. Quietly. Quietly, Nina. You are the stealth. You are the sneak. Take my stick. <laughs> it heard me open the door. No, don't go that way. Go somewhere else. Shit. Oh. You can't stand there forever, right? Let's not get too close to the door, just in case. Oh, calm breaths. Calm, deep breaths. If I make a run for it, is that gonna count as a save, or is it something else? Great run. Run! Oh! He ate me! I didn't even hear him come up on me! We have to get off this island. Damn it! I should've just ran for it! I should've just ran for it! What the hell is that? I- I- I know. I know, I'm working on it. It is really scary trying to get into that other building. Where are you at now? Okay, you're there. Where's the other one? He's over there. Okay. I really don't have to go inside. I should have to get to those steps. That's blocked. Okay, there's you. Your friend's probably right around this corner. I want to do it. I've done scarier things. Okay, they're both over there. You jumped so good on the first run. Ugh. Ow. He 
hurt me. Okay. They have me trapped in here. Freedom! I'm bullshit! I'm bullshit! <laughs> I'm a little Naruto run. All right. Put this in. You're gonna Naruto run in this house. This looks like a gate. Uh, How can I open? Touch it just to make sure. Naruto run. <laughs> Is safe. Please. <laughs> Shit. Why have I stopped running? Why have you stopped running? Keep running. Oh, I must be tired. No. No, it's... Oh my god, no. Is that Christian? Did humans do this to you? They will pay for this. That's a great view, though. <gasps> Thank you. This rifle could be useful. More than one clip left. But not loaded. What is... Okay, I was like, more than one? How many in the one? Yes. Again? Oh, shit. Alright. Time for pew pews. Hold. Hold the space bar to equip. Shoot with the left mouse button. Push I to check your remaining ammunition. Oh, my guy's scared. Oh, he's 19. He's never fired a gun. More than one clip left. And tell me how many bullets are on the clip. To move. Oh, this is nope on so many level. So it's this for zoom, and then you have to hold. You have to hold it. You can't tap it. You gotta hold space. All right. Cool. Have maybe four, five bullets left, Nina. Please don't miss. Something's happening. It's death come for me. See, there's a bunch of messages I'm gonna have to read in the chat. Okay. Ah! Uh <laughs> ah! Where's my knife? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Do I have a bayonet? More than two clips. More than two clips? I heard you said more than one clip. Maybe they maybe they mean I have two bullets. I think I have a bayonet. I can't. No? S I stabbed him with my gun. I guess we'll follow the red squiggle line. Ten three two. Ten three two. Oh. 
C'est quoi, grand And... Oh No? Hmm. This puzzle has me stepped. It's ten three to two. There's an O. I chose this O instead of this O, because this has a squiggle. I haven't seen any of those symbols. Around more. That's a, that's a collision wall. Can't go that way. That's where the wolves came from? Yep, this is a collision wall. Let's see, we have... Okay, the squiggle has more, so T dot squiggle. All right, let's try T dot squiggle. How does that... So, T... Dot. Squiggle? Or is it more... Nope. Wrong way. Stats. Alright, so let's say T, and then if we keep going, it's... Weird O and dot and then squiggle. No, but they're in red, though. Unless it's saying choose the one that's not in the pattern. Right? So I, and then you would be the weird O. Hey, that's what it is. You choose the one that's missing. Sh press spacebar shortly while moving to avoid attacking enemies. I didn't oh. know him personally. Poor guy. I got about 10 I plus bullets. Ooh, that is a nice shot, though. A valley. I need to go down there. It might lead to the beach. Follow the dale? Oh, don't be. <laughs> don't hang out here, Nina. What is a dale? How do I get over there? Probably a blank or something nearby. <laughs> Look for other food and leave me alone. Oh, you're not done. Plank. You're at plank. Shots. 
but they are hundreds of meters away. Oh, this must be our people. Okay. Uh, first, I need a plank up there to get over this gorge. How do... Do I shoot it? How does Nina get up here? I don't know if it's that. The whole floor vibrates. For heaven's sake, elephants? Ah! Jesus Christ! Hi? Can I have my plank now? I'm gonna be over here. Ah! Nina, go! Eh. Follow the shots. I'm trying to avoid the elephants right now. This is not how I saw my day going. The splash is blocking the way. How can I get rid of that? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, three trunks. Hello? What? Four? Hold on, how many trunks y'all got? <laughs> okay, okay. What? Oh my god, Nina, you have a lighter. Nope, can't break that. Really have to break that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go light a bush on fire while avoiding elephants with four trunks, because this is what's happening now. Burn! Burn, I say! It's not burning! It's like kind of the only idea I had. Oh, hello, what's this? Ah. Your lighter with L. It's not gonna go out if I run with this, right? Hey! Hey! No! Not the time! Just die! Ah, this is way too much. Set your first bush on fire! That's great! Can't see. Please burn fast. Please burn fast. Please burn. I think it's almost done. Ah, I don't like how close you are! I just want to get out. Ah! I'm trying to stab. Stab him, Mina. Stab him. Yeah, reload real quick. Cause, ugh. How are we doing? I mean, you just reloaded. Just oops. All right, go. This gate seems like the only way out. Maybe one of the elephants can help us. Debbie, step. The help of an elephant. Okay. It'll be this. How do I corral an elephant? Do I need to shoot it? I don't want to shoot it. I think I have to shoot it. He's mad! Think. Ah! Just stand here and shoot. 
Come get me, boy. Thank you. Bye. Nice work, big buddy. Dodging elephants, dodging centipedes, dodging wolves, having to worry about a lighter and my gun. This is a lot. This is a lot to manage. Find a lever to open the gate. You kidding me? Did I miss it? During my little stroll of the swim? Elephants help. Pretty much. I'm also concerned because I'm like, what if someone just has really bad aim? And like, I just never hit the elephant just right to bring it over. I don't know what happened to my torch, but I guess it's gone. Oh, uh, thanks, man. Is this a lever? It is now. But yeah, they had four trunks, but it wasn't even like a full trunk. It was like just four trunk tips. A lot of noses. God, I hope it's saving often. Let's try and get off this island, man. Why are there more messages? It says 50 plus! Ah! There we go. We have to get off this island. Working on it, buddy. Look at the deer. There they go. Rest in peace, my friend. Oh. More than enough bullets left. How do I get over there? Find a way to cross the valley. Get some plank. Carefully explore. I don't know if it's a centipede, a wolf, or whatever spider thing is gonna get you. Wolves! <laughs> Just die! I wish I would. You didn't have to be this way! Ah! Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Save your bullets, Nina. That's all. I'm hoping. Oh, sweet. Ah! Question, are they just gonna keep coming until I find my board? Cause that's, that's the vibe I'm getting! Cause this is a lot of them. This is a lot of them. That's way too much. Way too much. I don't like that. I have to hold space to do this! They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. Naruto dodge.
And we're running, and we're running, and we're running. Four. The spider's here, and I wasted all my bullets. Oh, Fuck! Get in the building! Get in the building! Get in the oh. building! Oh god! Kill the monster! I'm trying. Reloading. Or a lot of bullets. Come in. I only have so many. Five. Six. Seven. Damn. It's like a little mini boss. Come on, buddy. Yo. Yeah. Oh. First epic monster defeated. What do you mean first? And plays there's more. That was close. Could have died. I still don't have the plank. He busted through a wall, though. Thank you. Glad that the ammo comes back. More than two clips. Where did he bust from? Sure, show me the way. <clears throat> the hell? Oh, it's like. Oh, he was like in the wall. Got it. This untrustworthy plank bridge of C. The way you say. Do you know the way? Cross the swamp. Yeah, I was like, excuse me! Crocodile takedowns. Okay, crocodiles want to eat you. Oh, he's, this is dead crocodile now? God. She knows the meme! Of course I know the... Tony. Tony. Of course I know the meme. Of course I know the meme! I was in the VR chat world. During the pandemic, during much of the panini, I know. I also I made this. This is this is mine. I made that because I loved it so much. Like I never experienced the wave of it for myself, but like watching videos where you just hear in the distance getting louder, it's terrifying but amusing. So you're like, oh. so you're like they're coming. Ah! Pull up, pull up. I can't stab? I can't stab him. Stab him. I can't pull up my gun in the water. I'm like holding space bar and nothing's happening. Let's try this again. I'm gonna take these extra bullets. More than enough bullets left. All right, let's try this again. Hello, friend. Right? Because he holds space. And you zoom. And then he's... He gone. All right? I'm in here. I hold space. I hold space. You can't shoot. But can I stab? You can't stab. You can't do anything when you're in the water. 
So how do I get past Mr. Swampy Swamp Man? Am I supposed to just swim and hope he don't get me? He gonna get my ass. Oh, first land or something. Swim towards the door. I have like a little perch here. I don't see anything. See anything? Okay, I'm on another little perch of land. I hear something. Oh, you thought you could get me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> swim, Nina! Swim! There's another one. Oh. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. I have a torch for some reason. I'm assuming I need it for something. Yeah, I was like, don't light it now, because water. Don't see anything. Don't lag on me now, game! Ah! <laughs> this is unfair! There's no dry land! <laughs> unfair! Unfair? Unfair. There's no land nearby because I can't shoot them while I'm in the water. And I can't apparently swim fast enough to get back to my land. Oh, I missed. Alright, let's try this again. All right? I have my gun out. I go into the water. And then that's it. You can't... You can't aim. But I see you coming. Come on over. I missed. I fired, but I missed. And I fired, but then I missed. Sorry, that's a Game Girls reference. That must mean there has to be a piece of land somewhere close to that gator. You know, something for me to get on it. Keep you from. Because otherwise, that hella unfair. I don't see nothing. Are these little grass patches? Is land? Okay, little grass patches are land. Who's that? What is this? Sneak? Who is this? Oh, it's an elephant! It's a tusk! It took me a second. I was like... Thought it was some weird snake. Got it. I see you. Be gone. Hear him. We'll grab our little torch. It's obviously need it for something. A little grass patch. Yeah. Oh, I saw him. Just die. There's one more, right? Uh, 
Honestly, I can't even imagine being hunted by crocodiles. Oof. Like, does not sound like a fun time at all. Okay. Oh, it's another elephant. Know where that second one is? I'm gonna go. That skeleton face hits me right now. Mirror. Okay. I don't see any little grass things. So. Right, I don't see any little grass patches. Grass patch, grass patch, grass patch over there! Is that floating? Oh, kind of. Yeah, a little grass patch. Oh, wow. Oh, I see you. I see you over there. I don't think that's gonna hit, Nina. Die! Did I get him, or did... Is he on the way now? Don't see. Me. Yeah, I'm trying to be cautious because I'm like, we've made it this far. over here. Find a lever to open the gate. More than one clip left. Okay. What's the torch for if this is not my supposed lever? I'm guessing there's a bush somewhere I have to burn. Maybe I have to burn that thing? A little cage thing with the vines? Yeah, I had a lever in there. It's not in the lever, so try. It. I burn this. Shoot. Well, I have a torch now. For what? I'm not sure yet. Let's go over here. Wait, is this... This is a shortcut to the torch area, no? There's something I'm supposed to burn over here? Oh, yeah, maybe that. I don't know why I couldn't just use my lighter, but... Okay. Well, hello there, you absolutely fantastic joyous bean. How are you doing today? <gasps> hello, Larissa. Heck yeah, and I'm doing wonderful. We played Tricky Typing with a controller, which was gifted to us by a dev the other day. We did two spoopy games, and we're doing this game. And then Vince was like, you're almost out of spoopy games. Here's some gifts. So I was like, <sighs> we have even more spoopy games. So my day is going well. How about yourself? Is this Where? There. Sweet, we got the lever. Oh, sucks. Give him a minute. He's stuck in ad land. Girls gotta eat. Oh God, no! 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 
no, 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 Oh, such BS. Right, I'm gonna wait till our health comes back. You're calm and collected. So I just realized how like, like crooked I am. There we go. See nothing? Like we just had that one gator hiding around. Let's go look. See no movement. Saw a tree rendering. Welcome back, Lewis. Pretty much just explained about the three games we played today. One of them being from a game dev who was like, Hey, I saw you played Epistory a few years ago. Would you like to try out my game? Here's a, here's the thing. And I was like, oh, Okay. And we did two free games. Then we're doing this game. And then Vince was like, Oh, you're almost out of spooky games. Here, have some more. So I was like, Now we have more spooky games. Welcome back from Ed Land. Hopefully it was a pleasant ad. But uh, this game's pretty interesting. The elephants have four trunk tips, centipedes are giant, and the wolves have rag bodies as soon as they die. Also, it's 1927. 24. Oops. What's that? Someone is screaming. I'm waiting for some giant bird to come pick me up. More than enough bullets left. All right, so who's screaming? Right, there's lots of games. Like the what was it? The one we played by the students. Uh, if I'm coming. A figium. Great, love it. Love the concept. Want to see more of it. And then the one we did after that, which was Swallow the Sea. Amazing. All about it. Love the art style, especially. the right way? Ooh. Hold on. There we go. Aww. But you can't cater the ads to what you like, where you're like, look, if I'm gonna watch ads, I'd like to see ads about food, you know? Ash, budge. There's more, I know there's more. <laughs> what? <Whoop>! Centipede! <laughs> Why are there centipedes? Why can't the wolves and the centipedes fight? <gasps> Why so many? Why so many? Stand up, Nina! Reload, 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 reload. Right, like, why can't y'all fight each other? Friend? Are you a friend? I'm, I'm not that good shot. I'm not. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be afraid. Oh, she's ready to throw down. J Jeremy. My name is Jeremy. W what's your name? Si Sikoya Taisha. Hey, Ethan. How's your father? Best gift you can make a friend. Thanks again. It's the how that sent me. Aisha. What was that? 
That was Ethan's watch. Search for Taisha. Ethan must be with her. Uh, she just took off. I still need to go to a gun range. Just to be like, woohoo. Because it's like, you know, played a lot of shooter games growing up as a kid. I was, I was a COD kid. I was not great at it. That's the thing. I absolutely suck at COD. Like, multiplayer mode? I, as soon as I get off of school, that's all I did until bedtime. But I still was absolute garbage. I think the best kill streak I ever got was like six. Like I was the care package person all day, every day. Care package, care package, care package. I could only get threes. I think the best kill death ratio I ever had was like 12 and two. Everything else usually was like three and 12. So I was like, oh, I did it. All right. Squiggle. Hello, Squiggle! Okay, I guess I'm on my Squiggle, it just didn't give me my little grunt. Alright, so I need a T and a U. T. O. More. Oh. You I saw over here. An X. A. Hey. I know my puzzles. See, sometimes we're smart. Sometimes we're tuned in to what the universe is trying to put down. Sometimes. Also, we should reload. What is happening? Am I about to enter a village? King Kong? No. If anything, it'd be a giant spider thing. So anytime somebody mentions giant walls, I'm just like, King Kong. Yes, lever. Let's go find a lever. But I do recommend Swallow the Sea. It the art style was great. I mean, I know the one time we opened the thing. The creatures it took a while to open. It's taking a while. Hello? Is there maybe another lever spot that I have to open? Oh! Well, that's the third hit to my head. This is where we got 
started our story. Aisha, is that you? Let me out. She cut me down. I think she did. All right, so we're just we're just a, a stabbing stick now. I doubt they'd have bullets in their uh, sacrifice chamber. Investigate the temple and leave as soon as possible. <laughs> hey, but they didn't take my lighter. So not this one. Oh, hold on. <gasps> Need lever. Ooh. Oh, it's a boat. Oh, it's a boat. It's not my boat, is it? Okay. I think I have to get on top of that log and go up. Yeah, crouch. Don't mind me. Can I take this? Yeah. Put it somewhere. Apparently on this rock? Oh, that's probably the lever. Here. Don't want to be on the menu. This is a really nice temple, though. God, it's sturdy. To reduce noise. Oh. Okay, so I need a plank to get over there. Can I grab the plank that I just used? Because honestly, that'd be clutch. Oh, come on. I can't reuse my plank. Sensible man would reuse the plank he just had. He'd be like, I know exactly where there's a sturdy plank. Right here. Does that mean I have to murder humans? I don't want to murder humans. <laughs> Exit! Yeah, I got that! Okay, he's there. There's a guy facing another way. Am I supposed to fight them or am I supposed to just hide? He's not moving, so maybe I go down the way he came? I'm 
sorry. How do... Do I... I don't think I sneak past them. I feel like I commit murder. But I feel like they're gonna kill me. Because I have no bullets, right? No bullets left. Shut your mouth, Jeremy. <gasps> He's moving. Maybe there's hope. <gasps> oh my god! You just have to be patient, Nina! Go now. I don't know how long they're gonna be gone for. Go now. Like, I don't know how they don't hear me just clunking away. Emma? Do I go down here? No? Is it just a, a sneaky place to hide, I'm guessing? Light doesn't add much. Making sure. Okay. Don't go down there. Hold on. Now I have a torch. Now I burn it. Now I probably go down here. I do like the handshake. It's nice. It's reality too. You know, no one be like, I got this. It's like, no, this is terrifying. You got captured, your friends are dying, there's monsters trying to kill you left and right. This is spoopy. Alligators here? Am I on fire? Kinda on fire. What's this? Wooden mug. A cup carved from the wood and seemingly sanded down with presumably sand. The upper edge is a tad too slim and almost sharp to be comfortable, while also having a number of notches from long time use. The wood itself seems rotten from being left outside for too long, while not being coated with any kind of water repellent. Oh dear god. Softly, with next to no sound, Jeremy set one foot after another. The sounds of the jungle surrounding him and the packed yet lightly damp earth beneath his feet muffled and disguised those few sounds he couldn't yet stop from leaking. He had never been one for sneaking around, let alone do so in an environment with real stakes. But the island had forced him to adapt, to learn to conceal his presence or die trying. And so he found himself here, trying to sneak past yet another gigantic obstacle. This time in the form of one of the natives, guarding part of the temple. In the dim light of the evening, with long shadows flickering the light of wall-mounted torches, it was easy to keep out of sight, but the low visibility made minimizing sound all the harder. A long day filled with adrenaline and heaps of dangerous situations had left Jeremy exhausted, and in his inattention, mistakes were bound to occur. In the dim light, he missed a twig, small as can be, yet when his foot was set down on it, the sound it made was closer to that of a gun being fired. He froze every muscle in his body tensed, no breath escaping him. Whipping his head towards the guard, he watched as the man started to turn around, his face shrouded in flickering shadow. They must have looked into each other's eyes for a few seconds at least. Jeremy was sure of it before the guard continued making a full turn, giving the surrounding area once over before turning back to whatever he'd been keeping an eye on beforehand. With the immediate danger over, what had previously been a resigned and tired annoyance began to wrap inside the young adventurer change to evolve into something much larger much more vicious all those bottled up feelings that had been kept locked away in the deepest recesses of the young man young man's mind bubbled to the top and his vision was tinged red am i about to kill him it just wasn't fair all he had wanted was a goddamn little adventure and now here he was amidst murderous tribal barbarians we don't know that yet the green hell that was the jungle and the wildlife that would kill him he so much as breathed the wrong way why make this even harder on himself? Why even give a poop about this damn guard? It would make everything so much easier just pick up one of the large stones that litter to the ground and, and paint, paint, give it a nice and red coat of red. What? Litter the ground and paint, give it a nice and red coat of red. That is a 
There's a typo win there. Courtesy of the guard's head. With heavy yet quiet breaths, Jeremy slowly bent down, his fingers curling around a particularly sharp rock. Standing back up straight, he started to turn it in his hand, trying to find the best grip possible. The young man's vision tunneled in on the back of the guard a few meters away from him, the dancing torches giving him just enough light to estimate the distance and the power he would need to leave a hole roughly 15 centimeters in diameter in the back of the guard's skull. Our boy's doing math now while he's panicking. Okay, yeah. <gasps> Breathe. Breath. Evening? Evening. I think this will be evening. Evening out. The adventurer pulled his hand back, preparing to go through with his impromptu plan. The cry of a particularly loud baboon violently ripped Jeremy out of his trance. He turned his head slowly, putting his gaze on the stone he'd been about to throw, and the implications of what he'd been about to do sucked all strength out of him. All he could do was not let the rock drop as he fought to not violently throw up. Setting the stone back on the ground, he hurried along, doing his best to banish this supposed lapse in judgment behind him. You would never. Mm-hmm. 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 Grab your board. He would never. All right, we're crouched and we have our board. I don't want them to see me, but I'm like, bro, I'm carrying a board. How? No. Oh, I am burning. Okay. I was like, why do I see fire? I don't have a board. Where's the other guard? Because I know there's that little opening over there. I think that's what I have to do. Oh, it's just a little hidey hole. Yep, it's just a little, little hidey hole. Mm. This is not a good spot to hide, because I can't see nothing. I don't want to get caught. Do this in case there's a guy at the top of the steps. I hope this is the right way. I'm so crouched. Go, Nina, go. I don't know where they are, but go. my lever. I swear, if I get caught, I really hope it, like, puts me where I put the thing down. Yeah, Complete the level prisoned without getting seen. <gasps> it's open. Don't run. Take your time. Take your time. Right? I think it's safe-ish. Oh, another lever! I swear. I feel like they have to have, like, a little mini lever on their person or something. Because the, the amount of levers I'm hunted for. Ooh. Hey, it's my friend! Free Ethan from his bonds. I will save you. I'll save you, Ethan. 
to see if there's a the levers up here. Oh. Okay, buddy. Follow me. I'll get us out of here. Um I can't feel my legs. Protect Ethan and leave the temple with him. I don't have the lever. We have no bullets. We are very much danger here. Nothing. Ethan, do you remember from the flashback where I grabbed the stick from? Because I don't have it. It? Aha! I did. I'm dumb. Let's go. They found us. We have to run. Jeremy! I'm slower than you. You keep going while I distract this. I'll be fine. I remember this. That's a Sorry. translation. Save. S A V E. Save yourself. I know it can be difficult with Z accents. Let me tell you. American accents and trying to, like, you know, catch what they're saying. What was it? I heard something in a commercial the other day and it was like one of those like super professional commercials but instead of saying like that he said that and i was like that's a funny thing to hear from a lawyer hello am i in danger i'm in danger we gotta go oh uh, fuck oh and it stinks oh that's well, disgusting let's get out of here Oh yeah, the episode for ACFI is supposed to come out. No boards. I see people running. Hello, arms. Oh, they know where I am. That's straight up like a whoo, I found him! Oh, that's so disgusting. Ah, oh, God, I never get those stains out. No, it's just algae, you're fine. Man, I don't know why. That whole, like, the whoop thing just made me think of back home again. Where, there, you know. There is someone. I don't know. Is this John? How you would call your friends when they're hey, far away. John! It's me! But we would just scream. Why? What's going on? Are you praying? No, John! I need to get out of the water. I need to get out of the water. Uh. Uh, <laughs> was that an octopus and a skull? Which then begs the, the question! I need to get out of here! I'm out! Okay, three letters. But one of them is already there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There has to be an open gate somewhere. Find the two missing levers. Okay. 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 Uh, there's the gate. Awesome. Lever. 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 Lever! 
Begs the question, whose skull is he wearing? And don't touch me. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. I wish I had a torch so I could see where I'm going. I need a bush! Oh, I got bullets! Ooh! I can't see. Yeah, he ate me. That's fine. I know where a bush to burn is and where the gate is. I found some bullets. I don't know how that's gonna help me. Alright, skedaddle! Right, the octopus thing is wearing a skull. What the hell? I need to get out of here! Yeah, it might just be his appearance. Okay, right. free levers. All the board. The thing is already there. There has to be another gate somewhere. Our gate's closed. Okay, so we have to find a torch. Oh, I'm in the swamp. Mistakes are being made. Where? Oh, where? Let's torch that. Get over. And I got bullets now, which is great, but I'm like, do I shoot him so I can explore safely? I- I know, I gotta go over there. I'm looking for a torch. Wait a second, game. Okay. Got time to reload? Where's a torch? Here? Nope. Torch over here. Just stay on the path so you don't sink. Is the torch nearby? It's usually on a wall, no? Oh, am I supposed to shoot it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get some distance. Because I see it's directly above it. I guess I've already loaded the bullets in. This is just a shot to try to make. No pressure. Giant tentacle squid monster behind you. Every Cthulhu lover's wet dream. And move. Move, 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 move. Takes a second to burn. Still burning. Good shot, though. Right. And it's done burning. He's not gonna follow me in there, is he? He might. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Ooh, buildings. I found a plank. That's something. But I can't see. Hold on, there's something in this house. Bullets! Is he following me? He is! He is! Hello? How do I? Mm, which way are you going? Which way are you going? We're gonna zip by you! <laughs> no touchy! No touchy, no touchy, no touchy! No touchy, no touchy! It's not my fault, it's a small corridor! Stairs. <laughs> why me? Why me? <laughs> Can I take this? Fine, don't give it to me. Oh, hey, another friend. Very dead. Wonder how he got up here. So the 
centipedes up here. Alright, take the time to reload. There's never a time, it's now. Okay, there's another lever. Alright. Got the lever. Safely get down? Small part of me hopes it's saving at each of these intervals, but... Careful. Clear my eyeballs. As soon as I touch ground, he's gonna come after me again. Remember to blink, Nina. Your eyeballs need moisture. Out of here. Not blocking the exit. That would be unfair. Oh, that's BS! He showed up right there and knocked me off and then ate me! Oh, thank you for saving here, though. Thank you, game. Maybe if I... Walk... You know, like, maybe if I'm quiet, he won't wake up. You know, maybe he's like, Oh, my lunch got away. I'm gonna go back to bed. How woo. You know, like a little snooze nap. Then I guess how we're doing on time. Three. Dependent on how long this takes, we might make this the last game. Or no, we have enough time. I think I can download one of the games we got, not from Uvents, but the other free game. Because it said short, so I'm like, okay, I can fit that in there. We're just gonna go the other way. But we'll see how long this takes, because editing always takes a second. Put it in! Oh, I love that we opened up that one! Ah! Go, 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 get your save on. Uh. Ha! Okay, there's another lever. Uh. Oh, damn! Okay. There, there must be a way to this lever. Find a way to the last lever. I was wondering, I was like, why is there a bush in my way? Nope. Somebody decides to chuck something at me. Alright, what's my challenge here? Put me in the dark. Can I adjust? Because it, it is pretty dark. Uh, look sensitivity, audio effects, audio voice. No? Well, yeah, well, maybe. Choose the screen so the third is barely visible. I can't even see the third. It's invisible to me. Where's your barely? Okay, that's a barely for me. Like for you guys, you guys saw it just fine. It it's not much better. But there's probably a crocodile in here. Watch, that's not even land, that's probably a crocodile. For God's sake! I'm working on it! Ugh. Ugh. Stab him! Stab him, Nina! I'm trying. There's two! Reload, reload, reload! Okay. Chill here for a second. Get your breath. Reload. Hmm. Pretty sure that was like most of my bullets. Peek. See any more grass? I mean, land here. I 
music has stopped, supposedly. And it's come back. Trust no. Head for the rats. Is it me or because I bumped the gamma up? It's like lagging a bit. I'm sorry, I'm blind as a bat. Oh! God. Just die! I, th I think, yeah. I think as I bumped up the gamma, it's like lagging a bit on me. Alright, I'm gonna just bring it down to... Like, no vegetation. Because vegetation's like most of the game. That was a cool effect. I can't see nothing. There we go. That's smooth. Is that a centipede comment for me, or is that just the goo creaking? Gotcha. Maybe I shouldn't have touched the gamma. It seems to be messing with all my stuff. Left it alone, Nina. I'm sorry I touched the gamma. I'll put it back. Can I put it back? It was like, what, at two? Put, put the gamma back. And... Yeah. Put shadows on the edge. Just, just so it's a little less intense for us. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Am I just into the abyss? Into the abyss. Alright. Last lever. Let's go! Aha! Yeah. Like he's gonna pop out in front of me, I know it! That trick won't work a second time! Crap! Alright. Now I can leave. Working on it. Yay! What's happening? Then maybe? Hey, what's up, bro? Sorry, how did I pass out from running from away from a giant squid thing? Sneak to safety. Where show. are we going? Is this a King Kong vibe? Hey, Shep. Please don't stop in the opening. I'm, I'm sticking with you. I am gonna be like a baby koala. Aisha. Aisha. Oh, baby koala. Your baby Roo in your pouch. I am a possum on your belly. So many animals that just cling to their parental fingers. Also, I like your little, uh... Quiver? Is that what it's called? The thing that holds arrows? Right? I like your quiver. Your, uh, your sticks are poking out of it. But it makes sense, though. You know, maybe, like, you shove it through, because, like, maybe it's like a mud quiver thing. That way it doesn't jostle and make noise as you're creeping. Kind of cool. With a little reforming wet mud. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust my feet. Get me 
out of here. I appreciate that you're so nice to me. She probably just sees how. Why does nobody live here anymore? Oh, I got a torch. Is this Kong? I'm getting like Kong vibes. What am I burning? Find a way to the other side. Oh, okay. get over there. Burn something. What's up? What? No. Why are there so many bullets? More than enough bullets left. Why did you give me so many bullets? That's not good. That's not a good reason at all. Need a lover. Ha! Burn. Looking at the time. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Feels close ish. What's up? Got a lever. You ready? There's uh, a lot of bones here. Please come with me. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna move until you get in here. Ooh, what's happening to your hand? Okay. Death? So I get for looking at your hands. All right, um, let's get in a building. Watch out! One, two, three. Oh, hey! Die! Four. Can you get get the get the moons? Five. Get the bones! Six. I I don't know if you in my way counts. Okay, he's dead. Awesome. Gonna reload. Nope, we're not done. No bullets left. Ah! Get him! Where's your stick? Up. These skeletons, a mass grave. Might have seemed to have been killed by the monsters. They just wanted to defend themselves and their lives from the monsters. Oh, from us. Sorry, I wasn't expecting him to just. Disappear. Okay, we got a board. Ooh, I feel like going this way is not safe, but I see there's a path. So it's like, have to. This is so dicey. Damn it, the texture's going good. Carefully. All right, like we're out of bullets completely. No bullets left. Oh yeah, we are out. I wonder if the game knows like how many bullets you have, and they're like, "All right, the monster will die once you're out of bullets." Ooh. 
something here. Alright. Red is not the answer, so not the O's. Not the squiggle. Not that, so you are gonna be a T. I feel like it's too far. Nope, a little more. That's a T. And let's see. I got one answer. Uh, where do I find the other ones? Yeah, it's not O. Not triangle. This? Yeah, looks like it's so weird. Weird. Oh, you. Sorry. Go on. Okay, and then process of elimination. I've done this right. Hey. Go, Taisha. Howdy. Or, like, I don't know their custom. Like, maybe they weren't trying to kill us, you know? Maybe they were like, oh, you have an injury. Here, let's put the blood to your head and your heart. Because, you know, elevation. So you don't die. Right? Like, that could have been More vibe. Than one cliff left. But not loaded. Oh, they're giving us more. I don't like it. Still with me? Yeah, she's still with me. I almost want there to be like a small, like, King Kong, like, Easter egg vibe. Wolves, some Grab all this. Where you at, friend? <laughs> Taisha? I'm afraid to look back. Queen! Oh, you're fighting a centipede! And wolves! Girl, my bad! Got below. Damn it. Damn it. Nice. Bamba. She's running. Maybe I'm supposed to run too. I don't blame her. You like it past you. Stab it, stab it, stab it. Oh, I think about bullets. Stab. Ah! Ah, I'm gonna die! Maybe we're not supposed to fight him. Maybe we're supposed to just run through him. Let's try him out. Like, they gave me really only 15 bullets, so I'm like, it takes about two to kill, and there was a lot. You expect me to have perfect aim for 30 bad guys. Watch out! Not see a way out of here. I think we have to kill them. Edge! Thank you, Queen! 
I'm gonna see if I can find like a nice little spot to hang out. Nope, there's no jumping, Nina. Kill things together as a team! And your life will go a lot better. Fuck! Yep. Yep. Run. How did you miss? He's gone. Stab. Stab, 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 stab. In her best centipedes. Load now. Seems like a good time. Cliff corner. You like Bambi? Step, step, step. What aim? Are you sure why you miss it? Don't worry, I miss it too. No bullets! Step. I'm out of bullets! Step, 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 step. Step, 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 step. Move, Nita, move! You're in danger! Step 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 I'm out of bullets Step 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 Bullets No 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 Oh thank god Brian Brian Step, 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 step. Move, 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 move. Ryan, Ryan, help me. Step, 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 step. Step, step, step. Move, 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 move. Don't die. Step, 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 step. Okay, how do I get to Brian? Do we just finish off what's here? Hope for the best. Oh my god, reload your gun. 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 Please, 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 please. Ever moving, ever moving. Brian! Brian? The beach isn't far from here. I saw it. I'll be there very soon. We're gonna leave this dumb island. See you there. Oh, you're not gonna pull me up? Thank you, Brian. We're on our way. See you there. More than one clip left. Magical teleportation to the beach. There. What's that sound? It's someone talking. Is that Jacob? All the voice. I know this jungle's been trying to kill me, but like, it reminds me of home. Actually, no, that's kind of accurate. I am so looking forward to being at home again. I can't wait. 
the ship is like the hundred meters down on the beach. We Take should her. be ready to depart. Take her! Very soon. It's me! God, Jeremy! Jeremy, I thought you were dead. Get over here. Have you yeah. seen Ethan? He got lost in the woods. How shiny their hair is. Ethan? Ethan is dead. He died so that I could escape. He'll live on in our memory. Jacob, there is something I have to tell you. Taisha saved my life. And Jeremy, beach watch beach. out! Behind you! Jacob, no! Stop! 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 Oh, did they shoot Taisha? Oh, her gloves! Her gloves! Oh no! Oh! Oh wow! Oh, I can see where a lot of uh time went. One of those natives. I don't understand it either. They should only shop and pay for what they've done to our people. No, she saved me. She tried to exactly. save Ethan too. It won't take long anyway before we roll over this island with our military. Okay. Oh. It's our fault. It's all our fault. Ethan died because of us. We are the intruders. It is all our fault. Every dead on this island. The bloodshed must stop. No one may find out about this island. Uh oh. Inappropriate, Nina. Sorry, that was that was really well timed. So I've just murdered. What the hell are you doing, Jeremy? Everyone. Interesting. So you saw all the models were good, and you saw that cut. Like that was just kind of like like a sticker just put on. It wasn't like the actual model had the death. But did I leave my friend in the jungle? I leave Brian behind? Well, I can look for me. Like, her screaming, I was like, I want to know what shot he referenced, because it felt like a movie, almost, you know? It's impressive for a single dev to be like, yeah, I've spent two years working on this, and it's like, it shows. It looks amazing. Jeremy and Ethan. Ryan. <gasps> Is she okay? Or am I seeing a ghost? Yeah, my deaths. Unless I suddenly get another one. Nope, that's that's my guilt talking. That's a ghost. And a geist. So I've just admitted to people on camera that I murdered a bunch of people. It's pretty bad. When I got to the beach, one of those monsters killed everyone. Everyone. Except me. I was the only one who survived. Until Brian! Nobody has set foot on this island since then. And it has to stay that way. Oh. Was it really like that, Jeremy? How could you not recognize Brian? 
<gasps> oh! Damn, that was good. That was good. Oh, Brian had two voices? All right. And so did the natives. Nice, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Now, I riddle this chat. Do we want another game? The game that I was looking at, that is free, just came out today. It's called The Windows Are Gone. It's a short game, but they said it, you know, sh should take 40 minutes to an hour to complete. So I'm like. Only thing is, I'd have to quickly download it, but awesome. And then, of course, there's multiplayer mode where you and your friends would just survive waves, which I can't even imagine. So, what is the point of the artifacts? I missed two. That's fine. It's fine. There's a story in there. We want one more. I'm gonna say yes. Go big or go home, right? Because I'm like, October's gonna be hella busy, so I'm like, let's give y'all content. 